Hey guys, welcome back. This is my 1985 Honda ATC 200S. This bike has 1,650 original miles. And it's pretty mint. It's not perfect, but um, it does have the original front tire on it. It did have the original rear tires before I bought it. Anyway, um, so yeah, this thing's pretty mint. Gas tank is like spotless on the inside. There's like no rust at all in that thing. And um, yeah, but there is one thing that is kind of aggravating about this thing. And that is that it makes a little bit of almost like a ticking noise. And I think it's coming from the top end. Um, I've already adjusted the timing chain. I've checked the pull start. All that is good. Like I adjusted the timing chain on this thing probably like five times um, just to make sure because it really sounded like that I thought it might have been the ignition but I really think it's coming from the rockers so let me crank this thing up and uh, show you guys what it sounds like Off. All right, so uh, next thing, let's go ahead and take this uh, CDI cover and the coil, and hopefully, we can just take the valve cover off without pulling the engine. So here is the timing chain. Everything looks good. It's uh, tight and everything. And I also um, forgot to mention that I did put a brand new uh, DID made in Japan timing chain on this and that didn't fix the problem also. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm thinking it's gotta be something in the rockers.
These are my uh, JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard screwdrivers. I think these are made by Ozan or something like that. Vessel makes a good set of these. This is a decompression cable for the pull starter. Okay, let's see if we can get this valve cover off. I still kind of think that we're going to have to pull the engine, but let's try and see if I can find a pry spot on here. I don't want to like break any of these fins off trying to pry it off, but man, this thing is on there. Well, it fought me. I finally got this thing to pop. That Honda Bond sure is some good stuff. They just had a little bit more room right here. I'd be able to get it. Well, it was worth a shot, but I kind of knew this in the beginning. Just leave it like that. Let's go ahead and get all these other stuff pulled out. Okay, so I think we are about ready to pull this engine out of here. The only thing that I have left is this bolt and that bolt. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom bolt out because I think this top one's going to be a lot easier. Okay, now I think all we have is just this bolt to get out. And this engine should come out. I believe we are free. Let's try and muscle this thing out of here. Too bad. We could take this cover off here. See what it's looking like. Okay. It doesn't look bad, really. Oh, just dropped a piece of trash down in there. Okay. So our uh, cam looks good. Let's see uh, if we have any, I mean, there's not really any movement on the rockers. Maybe like a small amount. I just don't know if that's enough to make. You know, I do actually have another three-wheeler, same engine, except that one's electric start. Um... That one doesn't have the, like, ticking noise of this one, so I might just take that motor out and look at the valve cover and stuff on it just to kind of get a picture, or I might swap some parts, who knows. But I mean, the, 
the cam chain and everything I know is good on this. That's not where the noise is coming from. I mean, it can't be. I've already replaced, you know, at the guides. I replaced the guides in it. Um, the tensioner is fine. I took this whole side cover off and checked all that. I never made a video of it. But um, it just really sounds like the noise is like a rattling noise coming from some, somewhere on the top of this engine. And I just can't pinpoint where it's coming from. Let's go ahead and pull this. Pull start off. Now I know it's not the pull start um, making a noise because when the engine was running, I actually took the pull start off and it was still still doing it. So and uh, and then I actually took the pull start apart and everything seems to be working fine on it. So I don't think it is that. Go ahead and take the cam off. Everything's really nice, good shape. Let's go ahead and set it up on the micrometer and see what we looking like. Okay, the book says uh, the right and left 19.90 and 33.90. And um, that, so let's go ahead and check it here. So we are at 20.90. 0, 05 and the wear limit is 19.90 so we're definitely good on that this one is at 33.96 and the wear limit is 33.90 so we're good on that also this timing chain falls down Okay, so here's the cylinder head. Everything looks pretty good on it. Here's the cylinder, which also looks really good. Everything moves freely. Okay, so I went ahead and took the valve keepers out. Spring, so I'll go ahead and check these valve guides just to make sure that's not making the noise. These valve guides feel really tight. So I'll go ahead and lap the valves while I'm in here too. They do have a nice ring all the way around them. I can just pull this out. Still looks good. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty stumped. I go ahead and pull the timing uh, cover off here. Well, it's super clean. I mean, it's a little black, but it um has no metal shavings at all in it. All right.
Alrighty guys, here is the inside of the engine. I did try adjusting this for probably the tenth time. Um, I have actually D Ray Shop has a good video on how to do it. I do it the same exact way. I have a little eight millimeter uh, threaded bolt. Uh, you want to do this and stick it down there and it grabs this and you can move it up and down because sometimes these do stick um, But mine was moving freely so I could feel that it had good tension on it And that's why I don't think it's uh, the timing chain that's making the noise um, But I just can't find anything else that would be causing it Everything is coming out spent. There's no um, bad bearings or anything the only other thing that I can think of it maybe being is something on the clutch cover side. And uh, I'll have to get a new gasket for that if I'm going to take that uh, cover off. But everything is checking out fine. This one is, uh, it's got me stumped, man. I, I don't know what's going on with it, but hopefully I can get it figured out. I don't know what happened, but something happened with my um, SD card on the GoPro and it basically corrupted all the files of me putting this thing back together so um it's all right i mean because you guys saw me uh, take it apart anyway um so what i did is i went ahead and i mean i went all through the top end of this engine i put new valve uh, valve guide seals i mean i adjusted everything checked everything to spec and uh adjusted the timing chain to spec everything so we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing back up I still think it's going to be making the noise because I didn't really see anything that was really different or out of the ordinary. So let's go ahead and crank this thing up and see if it still makes the noise. I should have actually took the clutch side cover off while I had the engine out and I didn't. Uh, I figured I could go ahead and put it back together if it still makes noise. I can just take the cover off on the side with it still in the frame. So that's what I'm planning to do. Let's go ahead and crank this thing up and see what it does. And as you can hear, it still makes noise. Now I'm going to go over to this side of the engine. And actually, I think the problem is coming from inside the clutch cover. So some of these are different lengths, so I need to keep them in order. Like every single one's a different length. I doubt this cover has ever been off in its whole existence. Get a plastic mallet. Man, this thing is on here. This thing has not been opened up since 1985. Doesn't really look bad. A small amount of a. Uh, you know, this actually looks really good. All right, let's uh, get set up and take a look at the inside of here. Okay guys, this thing is super clean in here. 
Um, and if you guys can see it, but I mean, like, there's no metal shavings, nothing. Everything spins really freely. And I've been looking at this. The only thing that I can find is this clutch basket. Seems like it's a little loose. I mean, not like bad. But can you see that? So I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go ahead and take all this off and see what I find. I could be chasing my tail on this. I don't know. But I don't know what else it could be. This is a uh, reverse threads, by the way. That clutch looks really good. Take the clutch housing out. There's actually like a groove right here where you can slide it right off. So, uh, this bushing looks really good. So I've checked everything in here, took a micrometer to all of it and everything's in spec. So I'm just going to put it all back together. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stumped on this one, y'all. Everyone's a Okay guys, so I got this thing all put back together. I could not find anything that was out of the ordinary. I mean, I checked everything on there. Um, the clutch basket and everything was actually intolerant. It was uh, in spec, so. The only other thing that I can think of is a CDI. Um, maybe this is making some noise in it. Um, I just don't see it making that much noise but this is the only other thing I tried putting like a little bit of RTV on these where like these uh bars come back and hit like maybe a spring or something maybe it's making a little rattling noise in it um so I'm gonna try swapping the other CDI off that bike because that one doesn't make noise I'm gonna put on this one um so this is the one off this bike I already took it off and I already swapped it so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up and see if it still makes a noise fingers crossed I don't hear the noise anymore the only noise I hear is the valves a little bit but I don't hear the noise at all and that was it that is just crazy i took all that stuff apart for nothing yeah i don't hear the noise at all i just hear the valves well that's pretty crazy right there i can't believe it i literally did all that work for nothing <laughs> so anyway if you're having the same uh, problem with your ATC, because I do think it is a pretty common problem, uh, you could try 
I'm going to put this one back on and I'm going to try just kind of like greasing this stuff up and maybe installing like a little uh, rubber dampener. Because you can see on this bolt where it looks like it's been sliding and hitting that right there on that washer. Maybe that where, that's where the noise is coming from. So uh, you put like a little rubber washer there or something to keep it from doing that. So anyway, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. It's kind of uh, not really the best video, but um, maybe some of you guys will be interested in it. Anyway, um, I got some pretty cool upcoming uh, projects, so uh, stay tuned to that. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care. Later. guys got about 20 geese two ducks later <laughs>